In this video, we will be evacuating the air conditioning system and recovering the refrigerant in this 2003 Toyota Camry. The setup for system evacuation and refrigerant recovery is as follows. We first begin with a set of manifold gauges. These gauges are rated for R134A, which is the type of refrigerant used in this system. At the start of this process, all of our valves are in the off position. With our manifold gauges, we have a low side, which is the blue hose. If we follow that line inside the engine bay, it is connected on our low side port. This is identified by a blue cap. If we remove that blue low side cap, that will allow us access to our low side port. We can then come in and attach our low side fitting and open the line to the fitting. This will register on our low side manifold gauge. We also have our high side hose. This can be identified as a red hose. If we follow that hose into the engine bay, this is connected to our high side port identified with a red cap. Removing that red high side cap will give us access to our high side port. We can attach our fitting and open that connection point between the fitting and our high side. This will also register on our gauges. We have an additional hose that is used in our recovery process. This hose is yellow and if we follow this hose, it will lead into our inlet port on the recovery machine. We then have our recovery machine that is connected via another hose to our recovery tank. On the recovery tank, we are connected to the red liquid side valve. If we take a look at the valve, we do see that it does say liquid. To begin this process, we will first open up the low side, which is the blue hose side, all the way. We will then open up the high side, which is the red side, all the way, followed by our yellow recovery line all the way. On the recovery machine, we want to open up the inlet port first, we then want to slowly open up our out port. And prior to opening our recovery tank valve, we want to purge the air out of the line by cracking the line just until the refrigerant flows. We then want to open up the recovery tank valve all the way. And we can then turn on the recovery machine and wait for the gauges to reach zero. And once our gauges have reached zero, we can turn off the recovery machine. We can close our recovery tank valve. We can close the outlet port as well as the inlet port on the recovery machine. On the manifold, we can first close the recovery line we can then close the high side red, followed by our low side blue. We can disconnect our line from the recovery machine. We can then close our fitting and remove that from our high side port, followed by our low side. The recovery tank can be disconnected and that can be set aside. And at this point, our system is completely evacuated. We can add those caps back on and we are ready to work on this system.